Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing The Road to El Dorado or El Diablo, I don't even know. Uh, it's directed by Bibbo Bergon and Don Paul, produced by Bonnie Radford and Brooke Brenton, written by Ted Elliott and Terry Rosso, stories from Flip Lazimpnik, starring uh, Kevin Klein, Kenneth Branagh, Rose Purs, Amand Assat, and Edward James Omlos. Narrated by Elton John. Yes, the one and only Elton John. Uh, music is by Hans Zimmer and John Powell. Powell sorry. Edited by Vicky Hatt. Productions companies from DreamWorks Animation. Distributed by DreamWorks Animation. Released on March 31st, uh, 2000. Uh, it ran for 89 minutes. Our budget for this movie got $95 million and it got only $76.4 million. Uh, so the plot for this movie, sorry, the description for this movie, I just need to search it up. Okay. So the plot for The Road to El Diablo or something is two swinglers get their hands on a map to the fabled city of gold. El Dorado, while pulling off some sort of scam, they plan go. Their plan goes bad, and the rogues end up lost at sea after a number of misfortunes. Yes, that sounds like a good movie. Well, I already saw it, and I can't say what I thought, but I will soon. Okay, so Kenneth Brugger is Mungal, Kevin Klein is Tolio, Rose Pierce is Shell. Amand Assas is Tikizel Khan. Edward James Amos is Chef Tanbook. Jim Cummings is Herman Cos. I'm sorry if I'm getting these names wrong. Uh, Frank Welker is Aviato Corzette or something. Tobin Bell is Zaragoza. Elton John is a singing narrator. The, the production development. Shortly before the public announcement of DreamWorks SKG is uh, in October 1994, former the Walt Disney Company chairman Jeffrey Kattensburg had met with the two screenwriters Ted Elliott and Ted Rosio and gave them a copy of Hugh Thomas' book Conquest Mozima, uh, Court in the Fall of Old Mexico. Desiring to make an animated film set in the Age of Discovery by the spring of 1995, Elliot and Rosso devised a story treatment inspired by the Bob Hope and Bing Crosby Road to film one self-interested comedic anti-heroes who would set out to find a lost city of gold after acquiring a map to its location. Will Finn and David Silverman were originally going to be the film directors with a tentative release. Um, it's a scheduled for full 1990, 1999, sorry. Uh, originally, the story was convinced as a dramatic film due to Kattensburg per, per chant for a large-scale animated film, which conflicted with the film's light-hearted elements. This version of the story had Mungo initially convincing as a raunchy Sancho Panzer like character who died but came back to life so much that the narr natives assumed he was God as well as Samantha love uh, sequences and scanty clothes and designed for Shell. In Elliot and Rosa's treatment, the film was meant to end up with Mongol in 2007, the Mayan people from Spanish uh, Consentino or something. Hern Kos as it would abandon civilization to live in its nearby jungle amidst the traumatic backdrop of the destruction of its culture. However, while the Prince of Egypt was in production, Kattensburg decided that their next animated project would be the departure, would be a departure for its serious adult approach and designed for the film to have an adventure comedy because of the film. Because of this, the film would uh, was put on hold where it was jokingly referred to El, Diab 
El Dorado, the lost city, on hold due to civil rewrites. Re Mongo and Tulio were rewritten as pretty swinglers and sitting on the film was changed to more luscious paradise, additionally to romance with toned up in a new clothing with designed by Shell. Producer Bonnie Redford explained, we originally threw out, thought it would be a rating PG-13 and we were screwed uh, it, to the group, but then we thought we could not exclude the, long, the younger kids, so we had to tone, tone the romance down. Finn and Silverman left the project in 1998, following distributes over the film creation, creative direction, and were replaced by Eric Bulbo Bergeson and Don Paul. Additionally, Kittensburg reported, reportedly co-directing the film, Al Bell, and credited the casting. On October, oh sorry, on August 15th, 1998, Kelvin Klein, Kenneth Brenner, and Rose Perse. Uh, had signed on to the film because the characters in the film drew from Bob Hope and Bing Crosby road to, road to films. Producer Bonnie Radford remarked that the buddy relationship between the duo is the very heart of the story. They need each other because they're both pretty in depth. Uh, their opposite Tulio is a shima and Mongo is a dreamer. They came around as to adventure. You almost don't need to know where this is going or what they are doing after because the fun is the journey. Unusual for an animated film, Klein and Brunner recorded their lines in the same studio room together in order for the two to achieve more realistic chemistry. The result for a good deal of improvised dialogue, some of which ended up in the film. Um... Okay, marketing. The film was revealed uh, in a double trailer with fellow Dreamworks animated feature Chicken Run on home video. The Prince of Egypt was accompanied from promotional campaign by Burger King. Uh, reception. What do people think of this movie? On Run Tomatoes, the film has an approval of 48% based on 105 reviews and average rating of 5.49 out of 10. The site's critical concerns reads, predictable story and thin characters made the movie flat. On Metacritic, the film has a score of 51 out of 100 based on 29 critics, initiating mixed or average uh, reviews. Audience polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of B+, on an A+, to an F scale. Um, now what I thought of The Road to El Durable or something like that. Um, whew. I didn't have much fun with this. Yep, I said it. This movie, I'm, I, it was not a movie that I was looking forward to. Um, I don't know why. It was just not a movie I was waiting to watch. Um, but I think I saw where it was going. Um, but it was just not my kind of movie. Um, I think. I would like it more to be like um, more fun and my words more fun I would like it more fun for me because I like fun movies not just like movies that I won't have fun with um, but this movie sadly didn't bring it to the table um, but I think it was a decent movie no it wasn't decent it was okay I mean, it wasn't the best, but it was fun. Um, I wouldn't watch this movie again. Um, it, it was just not my kind of movie to watch, I'm afraid. I mean, I would like it more if it was... What's the word? More characteristic. I think the characters in this movie were not well-developed. Uh, that I wanted it to be, um, but I think it should have been a bit more well developed and the story could have been a bit more better Because for me the story was just not as much fun as I wanted it to be uh, But the cast for this movie like Kenneth Branagh and I think he's a great actor and a great director 
But in this movie, he wasn't... I didn't really like him in this movie, I have to say. I mean, he's a great actor, don't get me wrong. He's a great actor and a director. But in this movie, I think he was just not good. I would like someone else to play uh, this role that he played. Um, but with what was in that Mongol, I think I would like a different person to play uh, him. But yeah, I didn't really like this movie. Uh, but I mean, I did give it an alright score. Um, for my score for this movie, I'll give it a 2 out of 5 stars. Percentage, I'll give it a 62%. Grade, I'll give it a C minus. Out of 10, I'll give it a 6.2 out of 10. Thank you for listening to my review of The Road to El Dorado or something. Um, before we leave, we have to do our will, like we always do, to see what two movies we're going to do. Okay, so we've got our will. Going to put it on. Three, two, one. Megamind. We're going to review Megamind and we can't do the Crude's New Edge because that doesn't come out yet. So another spin. How to Train Your Dragon 3. So we're going to do, I've already forgot, um, Megamind and How to Train Your Dragon 3. Yep. Thank you for listening to my review of Road to El Diablo or something like that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.